Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to a Will I Buy It? I put a poll up on my Instagram asking like, am I doing it too often? How often would you guys like to see it? And I get an overwhelming positive response whenever I do Will I Buy It? And on the Instagram page or like the poll that I put up, I got a lot of people saying they'd like to see it every other month. So I've done it about two weeks from now. So I wanted to put up another video and please let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see it kind of every other week. It's not going to be anything like firm like every Wednesday or you know, every other Wednesday or anything like that, but roughly every two weeks. I've just been really into the indie makeup world and they just come out with so many new releases and not even like one brand specifically but there's just so many brands that intrigue me and catch my eye and there's just so many neat brands out there that I'm very interested in and I love to sit down and talk about it with you guys and I feel like about the two week mark I have a long list on my phone. I'm never able to get to all of them but I try to get to all the you know, ones that grab my attention the most. So yeah we're going to do that today and I'm going to talk about all of the recent new makeup releases that I've seen that have caught my eye. I try to stick to mostly indie but every now and then I do more of a mainstream brand or one that isn't indie. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments if you guys like to see it about every two weeks or if that's too much. Feel free to give me your feedback down in the comments. But yeah, with that said, I do want to say that this video or this series, Will I Buy, is started by Samantha March. I always leave her link down in my description box, but when I can remember, I do try to say it. So definitely make sure you check her out because she is the queen and the OG of the Will I Buy it series. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm scooted off to the side so that I can put the screen recording here, but the first thing that I want to talk about is that MBA Cosmetics is coming out with what looks like a collection in a palette. It's a magnetic palette. They are single shadows, but they're coming out with a collection together of neon eyeshadows. And you guys know I've tried Glamere's Neon Loose Pigments, and I've been very curious to try Press Pigments, so I'm very tempted at this. But yeah, I think this collection is really cool. MBA is relatively affordable. I love their glitter glue. I use it all the time. I just repurchased it for myself. And Agape Love Maria here on YouTube is Agape Love Girl. She has a coupon code that I try to put in my description box whenever I can remember. So with her code and stuff, it's definitely more affordable. But anyway, I'm going to keep an eye on this and I might get them because I've been wanting to get some pressed neon eyeshadows to try. I did buy a couple from Terra Moon. So I'll have to see when they come in, but this has definitely been tempting me. And they also, I didn't realize they have aqua liners. I It doesn't seem like it's brand new because it just said they're in stock. But yeah, these are water activated liners. They're very popular right now. So I think if I bought some of this or any of these pressed neon pigments, I'd probably pick up a couple liners as well because I feel like water activated neon and pastel neon liners are just so in, on trend right now. I will say the picture makes them look a little more subdued, but I'm just kind of assuming that's because of the lighting because it does look pretty uh, dim lighting. So I don't know. I might pick up a few of them. I want to say they're not. Do I remember the price? No, it doesn't say the price here, but I don't think I remember them being that expensive. So anyway, if I made a purchase from MBA Cosmetics, I'd probably pick up one of the aqua liners and then, you know, these neon liners and give them a try out. But yeah, let me know if you've heard from them and what you like from them. Next up, I wanted to talk about Do Color. This is a newer brand to me, but I just saw that they are coming out with a neon palette for 2020. It's 16 eyeshadow colors for $15.29. I haven't tried Do Color, but I've heard a little bit about them, and the palette really intrigued me. The only thing that I'm not crazy about is what is this? On initial thought, I was like, oh, it's a white and black, but actually looking at it, that black looks textured. I wonder if it's a brush cleaner, and I don't know what the white would be. It says 16 colors. One, two. 16. Yeah, so those white and black is something else, and I don't understand what it is. Let me go onto their Instagram page and see. No, that's what I saved. I have to go onto the website later and see, but th those two on the sides, that black definitely looks like a brush cleaner, which, okay, that's, you know, kind of neat to have in a palette, but that white kind of, in, you know, confuses me. But overall, like, this palette looks pretty nice. I feel like it's got a nice variety of colors. Nothing's too repetitive. Carbon looks more like a brown, but maybe that's just from, you know, this picture here. But... Yeah, that looks like a really pretty palette. Okay, got interrupted there for a minute. But anyway, all that to say, I'm very intrigued. Let me know what you think. I'm very tempted, especially for $15.29. I feel like that's a really great price, but I haven't heard too much about Dew Color. I've just heard a little bit here and there. Um, I've been seeing them more and more, so they definitely have caught my attention. Okay, I just want to touch on this really quick. This is an insanely big palette, but this is from Quing Beauty Shop. I don't know. It's too big. Like, I don't like big palettes. You guys know... I don't even like Morphe palettes, let alone this big. It is. It also isn't as big as it looks. Like it looks ginormous, but there are pictures of them holding it, and I think the pans are just incredibly small. It's still big. Don't get me wrong, but the pans are a lot smaller, so they it just in pictures without someone there, it just looks 
monstrous, but it's actually not that bad. But I did want to say that when I saw that pop up, I was like, oh, let me look at it. And then I was looking at the website. Um, does this green palette look familiar, <laughs> even down to the swirls? They have all four of those palettes. I have tried the green one that I have a review on my channel and the red one or the orange one that I have a review on my channel. They're $15. So if you were curious from the other brand that I reviewed them from, I mean, I can't tell you that they're the exact same thing, but just from looking at it, they are. And for $15, it's cheaper than what I bought them from and I bought them on sale. So I saw this and I was like, oh. So anyway, I just thought to throw that out there. If you were at all curious when I reviewed those palettes on my channel, you can get them here for $15, I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correctly. So anyway, moving on, Iconic London is coming out with bronzers. I have been so intrigued when it comes to bronzers because I actually only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think like nine or ten bronzers, like single powders. And I have like a drawer full of like 15 or more of blushes and I don't know how that happened because I don't like blushes and I love bronzers so for me to not have that many options when it comes to bronzers and to have so many options when it comes to blushes just makes me laugh and anyway since I've realized that I've really been looking at new releases and Iconic London is a brand that I am always intrigued at they're a bit pricier so that's why I'm always kind of like intrigued but I don't really buy I get most of my stuff when it comes to Iconic London I think pretty much everything I've ever tried is from BoxyCharm but they're coming out with bronzers and I'm really intrigued because the packaging looks really pretty and the colors look really nice because I like a very cool tone contour and even cool leaning bronzer just because I don't like the very orangey look to my face since I am already warm toned if that I don't know but I should like warm. I don't know I don't really like that warm when it comes to that much warmth when it comes to bronzers and whatnot so these really intrigue me of course the lighting is a little funky so maybe I'm just not seeing it right but this one really I don't know which one that is but that looks like a type of bronzer contour shade that I would like because it has that perfect amount of coolness to it and even this shade down here let me see if I can Nope. Oh, there it is. That one. That one looks like I would like it too because it's it's got depth to it. It's got a little warmth to it, but not too cool as opposed to like this one's pretty cool. But anyway, they're coming out. They, ha they are co have come out. Can I talk? They have come out with new bronzers. There's only four available, so not a whole wide range, but I was definitely intrigued and I need to go look at the price and see where is Iconic London? I think it's on, is it on Sephora or Ulta? If it was at one of those, I might pick it up on sale. I want to throw this out very quickly. Baby Bat Beauty starting to do custom press on nails. This style right here really caught my attention. Should I get them and like try them out and review them? I don't know. Like I don't do custom. I know they're expensive. That's probably the biggest reason I don't do custom. But when I see custom press on nails, I feel like they're not going to last as long as more practical press on nails. I could be totally wrong. This style also is very pretty. Too long for me, but I feel like I could shave them down. But yeah, they've got some pretty designs and I'm really tempted. These are just a couple examples and they said to email them for inquiries. So I'm tempted to email them and see how much it is. Would you guys want me to review these press on nails? I feel like that's something I really haven't done, but I'm definitely very, very much intrigued when it comes to Baby Bat Beauty and them coming out with custom press on nails. So let me know your feedback and maybe I can do a review video sharing my review on them. But like I said, I don't know. Let me know if you're someone who buys a lot of custom press on nails. Are they meant to last or are they just meant to look pretty for an occasion? Because I feel like the press on nails that I like, they're meant to last me at least a week, like a manicure would. Like, but I don't know. I feel like custom nails or press on nails, they are just not made for longevity. They're just made for pretty. Let me know. Okay, this brand, Gem Casket, I just stumbled across them and they are coming out with this release. Most of their brand aesthetic is totally not for me. However, when I saw this palette, I was like, ooh, that's pretty. It reminds me of like a maybe palette in the interesting colors that were chosen, but they all kind of still go. Like orange and purple and green are very pretty together. And I love the inclusion of that black there. I'm very intrigued. I'm definitely going to keep an eye and see how much it is and when it's coming out because all they did was post the picture and say coming soon. But I wanted to throw it out there. Like I said, the whole brand aesthetic isn't for me. But that palette is, except, oh wait, hang on, I'm seeing this over there. I think that's a skull for the cover with a snake coming through it. That's definitely not my aesthetic, but we'll have to see. I'll have to see and wait and see what the, what the cover looks like, the cover art, because that will definitely determine I don't like snakes and skulls and not my thing. But the color story, the color story really got to me. And it looks really pretty, and I like the, the mix of mattes and shimmers. The color story really has me here. 
Okay, so moving on, Profusion has released, I think it's their Gold Rush palette. This palette, first off, caught my eye. I was like, ooh, yellow, gold, I like that. But actually, when I was looking at it, really, it's just this little section that intrigues me. It almost makes me think of the Lemonade palette. Majority of this palette, though, like half of it, I would just say is like a yellow-leaning browns. It's pretty. I'm not going to say it's not. I just wish there was more yellow gold in it and also more mattes because if you get really up close... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's only eight mattes in here, at least from what I can see from this picture, this promo picture, and only three of those mattes are yellow leaning. Everything else is just kind of a warm brown, which is really disappointing for me because for me, you guys know I say it all the time, I like my creativity and my colors and my fun just to have more fun with colors and mixing colors to happen uh, with matte shades in my crease and then one maybe two shimmers tops on my lid that's just kind of what I tend to do but I can put like one two three four five I can put a lot of mattes in my crease and just kind of blend and get ombres and stuff like that so I like more color options for mattes than shimmers. So the fact that there's not that much yellow in here and then the fact that there's so many shimmers and honestly oh, can I do this? It might even be, I don't know if they ever do press glitters. This one right here, wow, that shade, almost looks like a press glitter, but I, I can't really tell. A multi-finish, so it might be, I don't know. There's just too much sparkle and not enough matte for me when it comes to this palette. And also, I just wish there was more yellow. Oh, this I'm going to touch on just very briefly. Safari Rain is coming back, so make sure you mark your calendars. I did do a video. I did three more looks with that, and it should be coming out. It will definitely be coming out before this launches, so I'm hoping to do it in another week or two. I have a couple more look tutorial uh, review videos coming out that need to come out first before I can get to that one, and I don't want to just do, like, you know, three tutorial plus review videos back to back, so I'm trying to space them out. But it is going to go up in hopefully another week or two. But um, June 12th at 9 a.m. PST, the Safari Rain is coming back um, to Colored Rain's website. And they say it's a limited supply returning, which I really hate. But if you are wanting to get this, definitely set your alarm. XX Revolution keeps sneaking products. And I haven't been too intrigued. I feel like the palettes that they teased didn't look that nice. But this actually looks very nice. It looks like a cream product almost like these type of you know glimmer gels or it looks like a cream but a multi-crumb i'm very intrigued there's no information except to you know stay tuned for june 3rd which i totally am but i'm very intrigued and if they have a lot of fun colors in that formula i do want to get some i think i saw did i see bronzers which i might get this looks like a very sparkly palette i don't know why they're destroying it but you know um that highlighter looks really pretty i don't know i'm very intrigued with this xx revolution brand and can't wait to see what they do with it but yeah when I saw that I was like oh that's pretty I want to touch on really briefly about this brand this is playing makeup by Yolanda let me know if you guys have tried this or if you've heard of anyone who has tried this I'm very much intrigued because this is their newest palette she has a lot of palettes we'll look at it in a minute but this is their new one it's a more pastel leaning but it looks really pretty and her thing is like what does it say her tagline is we have the most pigmented eyeshadows on the market which is a bold claim let me just tell you, but looking at the eye looks that people do with this palette, I mean, it, it does appear to be incredibly bold. Where was the other palettes? This is, I think, her original release. It looks stunning. That, that's when I originally found her brand was with this palette. It's like, ooh, that's pretty. And then now she's coming out with this more pastel version. I'm very intrigued. My only hesitation is that it's pretty pricey. Let me go to the website real quick because I can't remember and I don't want to throw numbers around. Yeah, the pre-order for that past pastel palette is $45, which is pricey, but not too bad if it's more of like a personalized, customized, and not so much a private labeled kind of like that one palette can be slapped on a bunch of different brands, you know, for their logos to sell. If it's that, then I feel like it's especially expensive. Like, yeah, the Jam Rocks is $50 retail. But if it's more custom and more unique, which I will say, I feel like I haven't seen her palettes. Like, I don't feel like I haven't seen this big of a color story anywhere else. Let me know if you have. I don't know. I was going to try this palette because I've been so intrigued about a brand. And this is a new release. And it's full of such bright, fun colors that are supposed to be more pastel leaning. But there's some depth in there. There's just a lot of fun in there. And there's a ton of mattes, which I like. Not too many shimmers. But the price is really kind of like, ooh. So anyway, I'm going and hemming and hawing. Oh, here's swatches. I'm hemming and hawing about it. 
but I'm very tempted because this brand, like all of the makeup looks that I see them repost, all of the swatches, everything looks so insanely pigmented. And I love that these palettes focus more on mattes than shimmers. That excites me a lot. So anyway, very tempted, but I'm pausing and kind of hesitating because of the price tag. Okay, just a couple more and I think I'm going to close it up for this video. This is from House Labs. They are coming out with, I think it's called Mad Love. Is that what it's called? Stupid Love. Sorry. Um, palette. And this palette is the most exciting that they've launched so far. However, I am waiting to see Angela Bright's review tutorial, whatever she does. I'm waiting to see her video on it because she mentioned in a video or on Instagram that she'd done like five looks with it that she ended up having to like just scrap because they weren't working out. So that definitely makes me pause. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Angela Bright is so talented when it comes to eyeshadow and blending. If you can't work with it, I want to know the tea on this. But the color story, I will say, I feel like they've actually done something interesting and fun. I like the fun blues and that pop of orange at the end. And overall, yes, it is more neutral. It is still fun. There's a lot of shimmers, I feel like, in it for the amount of mattes, which is kind of disappointing. But it's the most exciting thing that House Labs has ever come out with to date for me personally. Oh yeah, and also Lunar Beauty launched a cheek or blush palette. I was super excited to see what he would launch because I've been intrigued to try him. I just haven't found anything that I wanted to try yet. So when he was teasing this next launch, I was like, ooh, I want to see what it is. Maybe I'll get it. And it ended up being a blush palette. Um, I love the packaging. I will say he seems, his brand seems to kill it with the packaging. And that's another reason I really want to try him because I like nice packaging. So I'm very intrigued. But you guys know me and blush. We're just, we're just acquaintances, never going to be friends, so I don't need to keep getting more blushes. And as I just said, I have a drawer full of blush. I kind of need to declutter a few because they're getting to the point where they don't fit, and I don't need that many blushes in my life. So yeah, this is an easy pass for me, but I figured I would share. It launched on May 20th, so a couple of days ago at 10 a.m., and a lot of my friends were posting saying they were grabbing it, so I can't wait to see what they think about this, but I don't need it, so I'll just live through them. Oh yes, I did want to mention this. Blush Tribe said they were closing down. And now, you guys can read on the screen here, they're not closing down, they're rebranding. Which kind of frustrates me because that's, I just, if they're rebranding and just continuing with makeup, I feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like that'll, I'll feel a little weird about that because it's like, why didn't you just say you were rebranding in the beginning and you were still going to be in the makeup industry, you're just going to have to rebrand and start afresh kind of thing. I mean, you know, strobe. Now Shroud rebranded, a lots of brands have rebranded without doing the whole we're shutting down, never coming back thing. But if they're coming back rebranding as a totally different brand as, I don't know, like hair products or, you know, hair accessories or something, that I can understand the whole we're shutting down and never coming back, so buy, you know, buy what you want now. But yeah, I'm very curious to see what they're going to come back as, but I figured I would let you guys know in case you heard that they were shutting down. They're still around, they're going to come back, they're rebranding. Okay, so two more things, and then I think we're going to close it up here. Dandelions Co. is teasing these new these new shadows that he's coming out with. I just recently heard about this brand. They launched He launched a palette that was like spring-themed, and I wasn't into the packaging, and I wasn't into the color, so I ended up not getting it. However, he's teasing these shadows, and I am interested in. So I cannot wait. They're all mattes, which I love. Look at these grungy. These two are up here, even three, that for... I like almost all of these. The blue, I'm just not a blue person, so I can like take it or leave it. But honestly, if you sold these as, as a bundle, I would totally grab all of them. They look so pretty, and I love the grungy aspects. I've been following his Instagram and watching his stories as he's teasing all of these, and I'm just like, yes, whenever he shares anything grungy and mustardy and orange, I'm like, yes, that looks so pretty. Keep going. So I can't wait to see what he does. If you don't know of this brand, Dandelions Co., I would say check them out and stay tuned. If you like grunge, he looks like he's going to be doing some fun things. Yeah, and even these, like, oh my goodness, look at this orange. <sighs> mm, that is one of my favorite colors. It's the funkiest color, the funkiest, grungiest color, but it is so pretty. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what he comes out with, and I figured I would share this little sneak peek with y'all. Okay, we're going to end it here with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. He's coming out with a cremated palette, and I'm not even going to get into the drama. For me personally, even if we weren't in the time that we are, this palette would never be for me. I just, I feel like it's just not me. I don't like, it's just not me. But the whole theme of the palette besides the color story isn't me at all. I do know some friends who are getting this and I cannot wait to see what they do with this palette because I look at this and I'm just like, 
it's gray. I don't know. Gray just doesn't excite me when it comes to grays and taupes just don't excite me when it comes to makeup. So I saw this palette and I was just like, nope, no, thank you. And then I kind of was like, well, let me look at it. Let me really look at it. I still say no, but I feel like there's a lot of repetitiveness, repetitiveness with this palette. Am I alone here? Like, I feel like burial gown and casket ready are kind of the same. This is so weird saying these name out loud. Um, embalmed and life insurance look the same. What other, what else was that looking at? These two, Gravedigger and Eulogy, they're different, but there's just like, they're the same tone, but there's a depth difference. Solemnly Swear is also a little similar. There's just a lot of similarities. And then these like heavy shimmer, are they glitter? I don't know, but Angel of Death, Mortuary, Beautician, Death Certificate, and Paul Bearer kind of all look the same to me. I don't know, there just seems like this palette could have been half the size easily and still giving you the same color story, the same types of looks that you could have gotten from it basically was what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There just looks like so repetitive. I guess the glitters and shimmers are a little different, but a little bit, but down here, oops, where am I going? Down here, so many look the same. So yeah, this is an easy pass for me, but I'm very curious to see who gets it, what kind of looks they do with it. I'm just not very inspired when it comes to green, uh, grays and taupes. They just absolutely bore me. And then, oh yeah, someone also posted this. This is VE Cosmetics, who I'm now following due to all of this. They did this palette. If you maybe like the color story and don't want to support Jeffree Star, they apparently did this Grimoire, Grimoire, why can't I speak today? I'm sorry, the shadow palette, this palette right here, they did a while ago. If you like the color story and want to get it, I figured I would just throw this out there. There's a lot of brands out there that have what, um, you know, this Jeffree Star palette can give you. So there are options out there if you like this color story and don't want to support him. Okay, so I am back with Levi. This is actually a couple hours later. Got my hair tied back because I'm busy cleaning up the house while the two little ones aren't, or two older ones are not being, he's with me. But I just saw something released or just dropped that it is launching and it is from Urban Decay. We are just seeing a couple pictures at this moment, but this is the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. They're trying to get into the purple realm with their naked palettes. And first up, I will say that only like or maybe five colors are purple. Everything else is more neutral. There's a pink in there and stuff like that. But I was looking at it. What do you think? I was looking at it and I think there's only Mind Slip, Hacked, Optimized. What do you think, Bub? And maybe Digital that are matte. Everything else looks like it has a shine, maybe not shimmer, but a satin shade to it. And I really don't like that Urban Decay does that. They don't do many many mattes in their palettes and that kind of bums me out. I'm also, you guys know I'm not super into purples, so this palette as a whole kind of misses, is a miss for me just because it's not my preferred color story. It says 12 vivid neutrals with a pop, with a purple pop. That, that confuses me. Just a little bit <laughs> with a new, I don't think they're all neutral with a pop of purple. I mean, there's a pop of pink if you ask me, but I don't know. Let me go to their website or their website, their Instagram handle. Let me click. They don't have any posts. Okay. That's for their all nighter spray. No, they don't have any posts or anything. Naked ultraviolet. Let me see if there's any more pictures. Here's, yeah, there looks like one, two, three. Honestly, there looks like three true mattes and then some satins and then shimmers. And I'm just, you guys, I say it all the time, but I just, I need more mattes in my life. I don't know, I'll be curious to watch reviews. I'm very curious to, for the people who will get it. But color-wise, like, I like the outside packaging. I will say I'm not into, like, the purples and whatnot, but when it comes to that outside packaging, that is gorgeous. <laughs> they did a great job. He's trying to stand on my leg. But like I said, I'll be curious to see everyone else's reviews on this when it launches. Did I even say when it launches? Oh, sorry, puppy. Let me see if I can find, wait, where was I? Oh, it just says coming soon. So whenever it does launch, I'll be curious to see everyone's looks on it, see everyone's, you know, reviews on it. And let me know down below, are you curious to get this? I'd love to hear if you guys are planning to get this. I know a lot of people really like pink and purple, so I feel like I'm very alone here in saying that the color scheme doesn't interest me. But yeah, let me know down below and I'm going to go play with this little guy and put him to bed. I think he needs to get on the ground and do some moving. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing on me. But anyway, I just wanted to add that here at the end. Okay, so that's going to do it for my Will I Buy It for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of laid back, just talking about makeup and looking through some new releases. I still have more on my 
will I buy it kind of saved list on Instagram that I didn't get to, but there's just so many new releases. Um, let me know if that bothers you that I don't mention every one of them and I kind of just cherry pick the ones that stand out the most to me. Um, I don't know what I could do besides doing it every week, but I feel like that's a little much for me and my schedule and whatnot. So anyway, let me know and you can always feel free to DM me new releases that are coming out that you maybe want to see me mention in a video. I can mention your username if you want and let the, and, you know, let you know here in the video that you sent it to me and I can definitely make sure I mention those because I want to kind of mention brands that you guys are interested in or you want to hear my thoughts on so I can do that too if you want to ever do that and that way you can for sure know that I'll mention it in a video my username is ladykatie92 you can always send it in my dms and I will save it and talk about it in this video and yeah just thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos and I will see you very soon in my next one bye guys